What's up beautiful people? You're welcome again to my channel. My name is Lara and here on this channel, I share fashion business tips that helps fashion entrepreneurs like you to launch and grow a profitable and sustainable fashion business. So guys, today we're going to be talking about the big, big steps and questions that you need to ask yourself before you start your fashion business. It doesn't really matter whether you are starting big or you are starting small, business is still business and the process is still the same thing. So if you are able to take these steps and answer all these questions, it will really help you to, you know, focus your thoughts and create the best strategy that will work well for your fashion business. When you are running a business, you are like two different type of people. You are a business owner and you are a designer. So you need to balance this. You need to have both the business skills and the designer skill or the sewing skill. Because knowing how to make good clothes alone is not enough to run a successful fashion business. There are so many people out there that doesn't even know how to sew and they are running their fashion business successfully because they have the business skills. So the step number one we're going to be talking about is self-evaluation. We often overlook this step and we focus our attention more on our competitors. Like running a business is like fighting a battle against your competitors. However, many people do not recognize that it is also a battle against yourself because you are forcing yourself to do things that on a good day you don't like to do. You are forcing yourself to confront your strengths and weaknesses. So you need to fight this battle and win this battle within yourself so that you can have strength, you know, to fight and win the battle outside. So you need to conduct a personal evaluation. And to do this, there are certain questions that you need to ask yourself. And the number one question is why? What is your why? Why do you want to start your own fashion business? There are many reasons why uh, many people start their own business. It could be because they are passionate about what they do and they would love to share it with the world and earn an income from it. It could be because they want to have uh, time for their family. It could be because they want to uh, be their home boss. So depending on your reasons, so you will need to list out all of these reasons because knowing your why will guide you and central you through tough decision at some point in your business you might get stuck and when this happens, once you know what motivates you once you know what drives you you can always go back to that and it will guide you it will central you it will help you to figure out which choice is more in line with your goal so know your why so another question you will ask yourself is how will starting your own fashion business affect other areas of your life you see entrepreneurship life can be so um, exhausting frustrating tiring lonely but it can also be exciting and rewarding but you need to know the impact it will have on both your physical health and your mental health do you have stamina how long can you endure pain are you ready to let go are you ready to step out of your comfort zone are you ready to make sacrifices how good are you at managing time what are your strengths and your weaknesses do you have patience it does take time to build customers to build trust to build relationship to build brand you, you know to build uh, marketing strategies it does take time so you really need to be patient your patience and persistence will help you to withstand those tough times. If you are able to find answers to all of these questions, it will really help you to narrow down your focus and it will get you thinking about your goals and what motivates and drives you. So now that you have answers to your questions and probably you've decided to take the bold step. So the next thing you want to do, which is the second step, is to analyze the fashion industry. So go ahead and analyze the fashion industry. You want to validate your idea. You want to know whether people are really in need of what you want to offer. So you want to find out, are there other people doing what I want to do? So these people, they are your competitors. So these competitors, you will do a little research about them. You want to know their prices, their styles, their uh, weaknesses, their strengths. 
and you want to differentiate yourself from these people you want to stand out so you need to look for a gap there, there is always a gap in the marketplace so you want to look for this gap and fill it up by look by filling up this gap we make you stand out of all of your competitors so you want to conduct market research know your competitors the selling and the buying patterns the pricing so this is very very important so the third uh, step is to evaluate your target audience who are your target audience who are those people hungry or in need of your services or your product so you really need to know them you need to divine them so are you targeting a specific group of people or the whole community one of the mistakes that many of us do i'm guilty of it as well that we try to do many categories at once we want to serve everybody you will be hearing yes, i'm a unisex designer uh, i do bridal i do menswear i do women's wear kids just name it just name it so this is one of the biggest mistake you can ever make especially if you're just starting out you can do all of this when your business is fully established but not at this point at this level you need to be focused you need to have specific group of people that you are targeting and you will need to to do a little research about them what is their age range are you targeting kids maybe girls only you want to be making board dresses are you targeting uh brides are you targeting working class women you see you need to really divine who your target audience are because if you are trying to do everything if you are trying to serve everyone it won't work it won't just work okay so the last but not the least uh step we're going to be talking about is the production sales and marketing uh plan so how are you planning to be producing the product? Are you planning to employ tailors that will be working for you? Depending on the capital that you have. So if you have enough money, you can employ people that will be working for you, that will be making the, the garment, that will be designing it while you will be running the business. But if you are working alone uh, or you are starting alone, it means you are going to be producing it by yourself. So you still go ahead and plan it. How, how do you intend to be producing the product? And of course, after the production, the designing, you want to be making the sale because being in business means making the sale and the profit. Anything less is just an expensive hobby. So you want to be making the sale. So you need to plan ahead. How, how do you intend to sell your product? Are you planning to sell online or offline? What is the best way to get your product out there to get your product in front of those people in need of it so you need effective sales and marketing plan in place for your business to be successful and we're going to be talking more about uh, the sales and marketing or uh, strategies on this channel so that is the reason why you need to subscribe to this channel so if you're here to subscribe to this channel what are you waiting for just click on that red button the subscribe button and also hit that small bell the notification bell beside it so that anytime i upload a new content like this you will be the first to be notified so guys these are the four important steps that you need to take and the questions that you need to answer before you start your fashion business okay guys so i hope you find this helpful if yes don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave your comment down in the comment section share this video you can also follow me on instagram at don larry fashion Biz. let's catch up on instagram okay all right guys this is all for now and i will see you in another video till then stay blessed stay safe stay happy bye